Hi, today we're going to look at uh, Palantir Technologies and uh, look at its trend, what it's doing and uh, some of uh, support and resistance areas. So uh, without further ado, let me just go to the uh, daily chart of Palantir Technologies. Well, recently there is a um, gap up and the stock rose, drop a bit, rose and made a higher low here. Uh, the stock actually, you could say it's uh, it made a kind of ascending triangle breakout. Okay, this is a ascending triangle pattern. Uh, same highs, higher lows, and uh, you could also argue that it's uh, like maybe a flag pattern or, or something. Uh, but with the ascending triangle twist, uh, it broke up and currently still trading uh, at the top of this ascending triangle. Now, uh, once the ascending triangle resistance has been broken, this becomes a new support area. And if uh, the first thing you want to look at at Palantir is uh, whether it can stay above this uh, new support area. If it continues to trade above this above area, this support area is most likely to continue to move up. The other thing uh, with the ascending triangle, you can extrapolate this up and look at uh, whether the stock is able to stay above this uptrend line. And if it's able to do so, then most likely it's going to continue to move higher. Now, what is good about this stock is it has broken above this uh, resistance area. It was finding it difficult to go above this resistance area. Uh, it uh, broke this downtrend line and uh, gap up here and after the gap up. Uh, it is the rising, the stock is above the rising 20 MA, uh, 50 MA to, and 200 MA. And it, it's very important to see the stock above the 200 MA because uh, a rising 200 MA often points to more bullishness in the future. You can see how the stock went from uh, declining 200 MA. 200 day moving average to a flat 200 MA and then a rising 200 MA hinted to more bullishness and you can see although the stock traded sideways gap up and uh, went down eventually it kind of uh, edge up okay this is the rising 200 MA and this hints to more gains in the future uh, let us now go to the weekly chart to understand uh, more uh, we have this stock uh, moving up here and then declining and we have kind of like a rounded bottom rounded bottom and you could say that this uh, could might be a rounded bottom cup with handle type of breakout okay and um, later I'll go to the monthly chart to have a look to see to, to let you see it clearer um, the weekly chart shows that uh, it is in a weekly uptrend now above the rising 20 MA and 50 MA. Previously, when it was below the 20 MA and 50 MA, things weren't so good. But we have a bullish cause and things started to change. And now we are in a weekly uptrend. And uh, we the trend is your friend. And we should expect uh, more bullishness until the trend changes. Support areas are around here. You can see because based on the highs here. So... Uh, if in the event the stock drops to this area but it stays above this area most likely it might find support here and uh, it, could, it's, it might be a viable dip and it can move up now the problem here is that um, Belante has quite a lot of resistance over here resistance areas are areas where people bought the stock and lost money so you can see as it rises here we found uh, there's a resistance kicking in and here we have resistance kicking in and uh, it might take some time to overcome this resistance but once the stock absorbs the supply here uh, it is uh, very likely that it's going to continue to move up and maybe even make a new all-time highs now let's go to the monthly chart right now and let me just uh, remove all the drawings and let me show you this 
can be a cup and handle pattern. I mentioned it just now in the weekly chart, but you can see it clearer in the monthly chart. So let me just uh, draw it. Okay, so this is uh, like a handle of it. Okay, so we have a uh, stock going up and then a uh, very nasty sell of crash and uh, around the bottom move up cup with handle pattern. So um, cup with handle pattern works quite well even in all time frames because it's fractal. You can take a possible target by the lows here to the height of the uh, uh, handle and then you can project it upwards from the breakout maybe around here to get a, a target of 35, 10 which is around this uh, old highs area. Okay, so uh, we go back to the weekly chart. You can see that uh, target as well here 35. Okay, so um, but a bit because it's a monthly cup and handle, right? Even in the weekly chart here, uh, don't expect it to trade straight away. Shoot up. You have some resistance to absorb the supply to absorb. Maybe it might take. A few weeks to maybe some months okay so anyway um always look out for this area first for the short term okay just now i mentioned about this ascending triangle so uh, i hope this analysis is helpful to you and if you find it helpful please like this video and subscribe to my channel for more analysis like this in the future and i'll see you in the next one